Hello guys and welcome to another video. We have this weird equation right here and we have to find the value of k and k should be of the form a times a to the power a divided by 7. Pretty interesting question. Feel free to pause the video and give it a try first. Are you done? Now let's begin. In fact, the first thing we have to do is to raise each side of the equation to the second power. So that on the left hand side of the equation, this square will cancel out this. Then we'll be left with k square root of k square root of k divided by 2. And this is equal to 4. Of course, we still have square root right here. So it will be better for us to raise each side of the equation to the second power once again. So that we will have k to the power 2, which is still k to the power 2. Then the whole of this to the power 2, the square will cancel out the square root and we'll be left with k square root of k divided by 2. And this is equal to 16. And now we have k squared times k, which will be k to the third power, then times square root of k divided by 2. Just like that. And the right, we still have 16. Of course, we still have square root right here. So let's go ahead and then raise it to the second power once again. That is what we are doing, right? Now we have k to the third power squared, which will be k to the sixth power. Then the whole of this one squared will be just k divided by 2 because the square will cancel out the square root. And this is what we have. The right hand side is going to be 16 squared, that is 2, 5, 6. Just like that. You can still simplify this further. k to the 6th power times k, that is k to the 7th power, divided by 2. And this is 2, 5, 6. Of course, let's get rid of the fraction by multiplying each side of the equation by 2. Just like this. Of course, let me do the multiplication well. And we can see that this square will cancel out this. On the left-hand side of the equation, in fact, we have k to the power 7 is equal to 2, 5, 6 times 2. We have 2, 1, 5. Cool. We are looking for k, and we have k to the 7th power. Of course, we have to take 7th root on each side of the equation, just like this. Remember, the power right here is an odd number, so there's no need to bring plus or minus, but that's no way for odd numbers. Of course, this power will cancel out this, and we have k is equal to the seventh root of 5, 1, 2. We have found the value of k though, but k should be in the form a times a to the power a divided by 7. You can see that this is not of this form, so still we have to do something to the value of k. Of course, this is the same as k is equal to 5, 1, 2, or to the power 1 over 7. 5, 1, 2 is also the same as 1, 2, 8 times 4, or to the power just 1, 1 over 7. Cool. What is 1, 2, 8? That is just 2 to the power 7. What is 4? 4 is also the same as 2 to the power 2, then or to the power 1 over 7. 7. Of course, we are almost done because we know from indices that, let me get rid of this quickly, we know from indices that a times b all to the power c is the same as a to the power c times b to the power c, just like this. Therefore, we can rewrite this as 2 to the power 7 times 1 over 7 times 2 to the power 2 times 1 over 7 like this. And in fact, if we simplify this, we are going to end up getting this and this will go. We have 2 times 2 times 1 over 7. That is the same as 2 to the power 2 divided by 7. And of course, this right here is of the form a times a to the power a over 2, which is equal to k. We have k here here. So guys, that is pretty much it. So happy. Yes. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. See you again on the next video. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.